Okay, this video is of a Suzuki SV650. This model is a 2007 and what I'd like to show is how the clutch switch right here affects the fueling to the engine. Uh, the way we're going to do that is measure the pulse width from the ECM, that's the engine control module, this box here. This uh, ECM <coughs> looks at the uh, clutch switch signal and based on that signal it modifies how much fuel the engine gets. So to measure the fueling we're going to tap in to uh, the two wires that the ECM sends to the fuel injector, the signal that it sends. Uh, we're tapping in on the yellow red here which is main power to the injector and then here's the actuating signal uh, to injector number one which is, uh, you can't see it but it's tied into the gray white wire. These two signals here go down to a uh, Hitachi 100 megahertz scope and with that we're going to be able to take a look at exactly how that pulse width changes as we uh, pull in and release the clutch. Uh, right now we've got the uh, throttle, we've got a clamp on it to hold it at about 3000 RPM because we're going to want to take a look at this signal uh, off of idle and we also have the clutch strapped in with this velcro here because I want to be able to look at it in first gear and uh, neutral and the other gears as well. <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is uh, turn the bike on and let it warm up. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to pull the clutch switch in. Start it up. Start it at about two grand. You take a look down here. This is the signal going to the fuel injector from the ECM. Right now, you. The uh, pulse is on the wide side because uh, the bike is cold and so the, uh, the fuel is being enriched a little bit by having a, a wider pulse. Okay, we're back. I've got the bike warmed up now. What I'm going to do is start the bike uh, back up again and I've got the clutch switch here uh, temporarily removed with a couple nails in here and I'm going to simulate pulling in the clutch by touching to the handlebars to make the connection and release it. So let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, I gotta touch this here and take the starter up. RPM go up and release. Touch. That's with the clutch in. Clutch out. Clutch in. Clutch out. In. Out. Now that's in first gear. Let me go ahead and put it in neutral. Okay, you can see the bike is in neutral. If I do it again, clutch in, clutch out. Clutch in, clutch out. You can see that the clutch switch does not affect the neutral now. Now if we go to second gear, and try again. Clutch in, and obviously the clutch switch is affecting the second gear map as well. Clutch out. Clutch in. Clutch out. Let's go all the way up to up to six gear and try it again. Clutch in. Clutch out. Clutch in. Clutch out. So it looks like the clutch switch modifies the fuel map for any time it's in gear, either one through six, but does not affect it in neutral. Okay, we're running at about 3,000 RPM. I've got this switch bypassed with 
jumper so that this simulation can just shorten your switch out. Down here at the scope, you can see that the pulse width is wider, so it's getting a little bit more fuel. If I rev it up, the map changes back to default. So let it back down. The pulse widens again. I haven't done anything with the clutch switch. So what we're seeing, if we rev it up, that anything over about 3,300 RPM, and the switch seems to make no difference. That's over 3,300. Back down. Rev it up. 